I think genetic modification will come as a result of rather than taking drugs to alter your structure, you would actually just modify your genetics. So then you would you wouldn't have to ingest drugs. But things like being resistant to radiation. They they figured out scientists at uh, I think in Berkeley, some NASA related thing or Berkeley related thing, or both. It's definitely NASA related. Northern New York. There's a lab. I'll put a link to the to the site that I the thing that I read. They <clears throat> they realized that when the body takes radiation uh, and the radiation passes through cells, it disrupts the DNA. And when the DNA strand gets disrupted, enzymes are released to repair it. And enzymes are released to repair it, and but they don't just go to the damaged DNA cell and repair it there. They just realized, or they just accepted this. Like, I think the people have known it for a while, but they haven't, like, been discussing it. it, it the enzymes go to the DNA strand, the broken DNA strand, and if it's severely damaged, take it somewhere to what they call a repair shop where it's essentially a place of where a lot of enzymes are stored. And they said a lot of the healing of these really damaged DNA happen right on the border of a place where a lot of the enzymes are and a lot of, they, where they said emptiness, but I think it's a lot of open space of, um, I think it's cytoplasm, but I'm not sure. Whatever the, the emptiness is, essentially like the ocean. So they're right on the, on the, on the beach between the the stuff and the nothingness in there that's where they heal that's why people come to LA to be by the water all this west coast stuff probably east coast too yeah and the great lakes Ugh, I'm so american egocentric there's so much other water to live by in italy the mediterranean Um, okay, so these enzymes take this stuff to the, the other spot, and it's here that they attempt to repair these severely damaged DNA strands, and that's when things can go awry, and when you take radiation, heavy radiation, and there's a lot of broken DNA that they're taking and trying to repair... They're doing it haphazardly. It's doing it quickly because you can't have lack of DNA or the system's going to shut down. The system's going to go haywire and you're going to shock. You'll, that's when, you know. So it's got to repair the DNA. So it's working so fast and it doesn't repair it perfectly. It repairs it with errors. And that's what makes a cell become cancerous. If it doesn't repair the DNA, the cell will die. And if cells start to die, then the body will start to die. But if it repairs it, too fast because of severe radiation, then the cells will become cancerous, and that's when people develop cancer. So what they've realized is selectively blocking some of the repair process for these extremely damaged pieces and letting certain cells die off in order to save the body. Potentially cancerous cells and then I started thinking, you know, that's destroy yourself to save yourself. How does that equate to the human race? Is that what people do to make people make sacrifices? Putting the camera on yourself is a kind of a, it's a sacrifice. It's a, it's a drain. It's difficult. I think that's the whole Hollywood experience. People are so excited to come out here and be an actor. Everybody wants to be an actor. And then they get here and they're at the foot of this giant doorway. And they're afraid to put a camera on them and see themselves and let themselves be seen publicly. And that's what this whole industry is about. The people that get paid the most are the people that are the most comfortable when the camera's on them. In this industry, which is why I came here, because I love the technology. I think it's so interesting and now I've gone away from the, that industry, and I've just been told, I've been examining myself on the video. 
And YouTube's given me an opportunity to do that in a public place where other people can add information to it. And it's become such an interesting building process. I love that the information is coming. I got this in a message. Kristen sent it to me. Her YouTube page is Ik Bin Kind Berliner. I, did I butcher that? My ancestors were German. It's cold in my apartment right now. I gotta close a window. Um, it's very interesting. They're going to be able to manipulate cellular repair process, and I think this means in space, X-rays, gamma rays, and iron nuclei, which are the most deadly cosmic ray that they've experienced. The actual nucleus of an iron, or the, the nucleus of an iron atom, I suppose, is being flung through space. It's iron, it's like a bullet. It's like a tiny, tiny bullet that passes through your system. And that's, that's what's been doing the most damage. So they can test that, see the, what's coming in, destroy certain cells and let certain cells reproduce and or repair and essentially cure or radiation induced cancer I think they can do it on earth too radiation induced cancer on earth from things like x-rays any of it they can see what where the the, the extreme damage DNA is and where what cells might become cancerous and they can stop them from becoming cancerous. It's the prevention. It's the being aware before it happens. Being aware that it, of the process itself. This is the most interesting part to me. When bacteria reproduce, this isn't the first time they've seen this this uh, movement of enzymes moving. But when bacteria reproduce, they go to a place in the cell called it's called the origin of replication. In a cell. where everything is, that's the place where everything is replicated. That's how bacteria reproduce, duplicate their chromosomes, is by passing through the origin of replication. What a str It's a place in the cell. Because I think that people are like cells that we equate to it. People in a society are like cells in a body. So what is our origin of replication? <sighs> Video? Pass yourself through the video? to reproduce, to heal. To heal is to reproduce in a balanced way. To reproduce in a healthy manner, in an accurate manner, in a process that the body is capable of or accepting of handling. Not too fast. The healing process is a slow thing. If it heals too fast, it develops a scar or can become cancerous. If it heals at a slow rate, at a passive rate, at a rate that people are comfortable with, all that's excess. It's, it's all, I just kept going and going. Ultimately, the healing process is slow. It has to be. It can't happen explosively or things go haywire. Just like if it doesn't happen, things go haywire. 
So it happens, slowly. We are healing ourselves at a slow pace because I notice when I get like that and talk about like peace and love, people go crazy. No, people don't go crazy. People just like do get it together because there's science and then there's peace and love. I was thinking this earlier. I, I, and there's people that are like, oh, we can all love each other. Let's be kind. And then there's people that are like, you can use this laser technology and this beam and do this. But I like both. I think that we can scientifically in, induce feeling, essentially, by putting ourselves in a situation technologically where we are able to face that aspect of what we are. <laughs>